afternoon. Welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, here on VSPN.ca. On today's show, today's feature games, Marison Tanners of Trail Smoke Eaters. I look at Matt Ransker and so much more. You're currently watching BCHL Central. CHL News, San Francisco backs have released Jordan Levesque. Jordan Levesque will play for the VIJHL and the Nymo Buccaneers. In other news, the Merit Centennials have acquired the rights of goaltender Connor Lacuve from the Grand Prairie Storm of the Alberta Junior Hockey League in exchange for future considerations. Lacuve played 20 games last season in Couch Valley Capitals, earning himself a .904 save percentage. Good news to the Alberta Valley Bulldogs as Darren Henry will be joining the club. Henry, in whom 81 games in the WHL, racked up 150 penalty minutes, a big guy to add to the Dogs lineup. In suspension news, both Langley Rivermans James Robinson and Prince George's Bruce King's Cole Todd assessed a two-game suspension, receiving a major penalty for blow to the head. That's all for this week in news for BCHL. Passing over to our game of the week, the Trail Smoke Eaters versus the Maris Centennials. There's Tracy on the near side boards here. Pushes it in. He's the only Centennial deep. Webb will make a move to get away from him. And a lucky bounce there for Tracy. He gets a shot. Pad saved by Todd. Still loose up front. Patterson trying to shot at in the back of the net. So a weird play there results in a Centennial's goal. Giving many rebounds up here this evening. That's true as well. Patterson now for the Sands. He's got a couple guys with him. White takes over. He'll send it right through the crease, but that's wide. One timer from Polson in the point, and it's in the back of the net off a funny bounce. It seemed to hit White. The goal line, but stayed out. So the Smokies pressing hard there. Easily their best effort in the offensive zone so far this game. But here comes Mayor the other way. And it's in the back of the net just like that. And what a heartbreaker for the Trail Smoke Eaters. Patterson with speed out of his own zone. He's now across the blue line. Here's a backhander chance and a tip right up front. What a passing play there by the Merritt Centennials. And just like that, it's 4 nothing. Have a great play there as that will do it for the man advantage for the Smokies. It was a short one, but didn't result in much. And here's what a weird goal that was. The Merritt Centennials have brought it out and made it 5 nothing from beyond the boards. It was a busy week in the BCHL, and the scoreboard ca games happening all week long. On Tuesday afternoon, the West Kelowna Warriors beat the Vernon Vipers 5-3. to On Wednesday afternoon, the Couch Valley Capitals defeated the Alberni Valley Bulldogs by a score of 5 to nothing. On Friday night, the Penticton Vs lost to the Spruce Kings 4-3. Victoria Grizzlies beat the Nama Clippers 3-2. Seminar Setbacks lost West Kelowna Warriors 5-3. Coquitlam beat Langley 6-2. Trail Smoke Eaters beat the Merritt Centennials 3-2. And on Saturday afternoon, it was a bunch of games. Surrey beating Alberni Valley Bulldogs 7-5. Langley beating Quitlam in overtime 5-4. Trail beating Prince George 4-2. Merritt beat Vernon 3-2 in overtime. Gavin Gould scoring the game-winning goal. Capitals beat Grizzlies 4-2. Warriors beat Silverbacks 4-2. And on Saturday night, Kings beat Clippers 6-4. And the final day on Sunday afternoon, September 22nd, it was a doubleheader. First, the Surrey Eagles taking the couch by Capitals. Eagles would win 3-2 in overtime. And the Alberni Valley Bulldogs would power Kings. The Kings would win 4 nothing to end the week. Hey, this week's player spotlight is on Coquitlam Express's defenseman, Ben Israel. Ben, this is your second season in the BCHL. You're starting your first full season with the Coquitlam Express. You were traded here on the deadline. How are you adjusting coming out of training camp to the Quilton Express's new roster. Well, you know, I'm really excited about this year's season, and uh, we got a new coach, which is really exciting, and a bunch of new goalie. Our new goalie has Gordy, and uh, we got a bunch of new players coming out, so I, I think it's going to be a good season for us. And what did you do in particular in, during the offseason to prepare for this coming 2013-2014 BCHL season? Uh, you know, I worked a lot on my off ice, uh, my training with uh, Kai Hainonen, 
and I did a lot of skills work with guys named Ron Johnson and Doug Rose. So, you know, just covering all aspects. Now you're from Detroit, Michigan, actually 40 minutes away from Detroit, yeah. Michigan, to be exact. Um, what should you do to the BCHL when there are other leagues such as the NAHL and the USHL? Well, um, I recently, last year before the season started, I, was, I got drafted to the USHL somewhat high, but I had a uh, laceration to my Achilles tendon. I got stepped on with a skate over the summer, and with that, I wasn't going to be ready to play in the uh, USHL camps. So they kind of said better luck next year. And I kind of limped into the season last year off crutches and basically played with a gimp leg. I couldn't really skate. the whole, I could skate, but I couldn't run because the boot provided a lot of support. And uh, that's how I ended up out here. And now, did you do something in particular during this past off season to kind of, I guess, get your skating and your running back into full swing for the season? Yeah, I did a lot of physiotherapy. and. Um, I, I, you know, I got a lot of work done, some massage therapy, um, some different prolo therapy and stuff like that to make sure my Achilles was ready to go. And then just basically training the muscles and getting them stronger in my foot and my calf. And now coming out of the showcase, how do you, what do you, basically what do you think of some of the young guys? How do you feel that they'll last in the BCHL, especially for the first season? Uh, well, I think we got a lot of good young talent. We got guys like Jackson Cressy, Daniel Lang, and uh, Nick Rasevic, a lot of good young talent that'll help us out. And now, as we mentioned before, you are from Michigan. How do you how do you feel about being so far away from home? Are you adjusting well after your first full season last year? Yeah, I'm adjusting really well. I really like it out here. It's a beautiful area. The first season, it was definitely an adjustment period, the first couple months. But I really like the guys, and it's great hockey. So. And now, Ben, you ready for this week's rapid fire? Yes, sir. All right, so first off, Ben, favorite NHL team? Detroit Red Wings. Favorite NHL player of all time? Uh, Nicholas Lindstrom. Who do you model the game after? Uh, Crystal Tang. Favorite food, pizza or ha hamburgers? Hamburgers. Hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers again. Favorite movie? Uh, never Back Down. And who's the funniest guy in the dressing room? Cal Hofford, without a doubt. Worst guy to go on a road trip with? Could be Cal Hofford again. <laughs> and who do you think has the most upside in the NHL on the Detroit Red Wings? Um, you know, I think Nicholas Cronwall is going to be doing really well this year. He's going to take a bigger role and do really well. What do you think of Alfie? I'm, I'm excited to see him in a Detroit Red Wings jersey. It's going to look a little different, but I'm excited to see him there. You can play one sport in the world other than hockey. What would it be? I would say uh, snowboarding. Now you're a defenseman forward or a goaltender if you had to choose? Uh, defenseman. All right. Thank you so much, Ben Israel. We appreciate you doing this. And this week's Player Spotlight has been on. Ben Israel of the Coquitlam Express, defenseman. Back to you, Tally. Matt Grant has probably traveled the most of any junior hockey player I know. Whether it's the WHL for Moose Jaw or to Nanaimo Clippers in the BCHL, he's done it all. And this year he's playing Junior B. Why is that? We found out. When someone says they've been through the hockey world through and through, no one can be as literal as 19-year-old Matthew Grant. Just in the last five seasons, Matt has served on seven teams. 09-010 played for the Comox Valley Glacier Kings of the Vancouver Island Junior Hockey League. 2010-11 played for the Moose Jaw Warriors of the WHL for 58 games. Then following season he played for the Couch Valley Capitals here in the British Columbia Hockey League. But during that season he played four games with the Everett Silvertips. In 2012-13 season he started with the Capitals but then was traded to the Nanaimo Clippers. Where after playing 38 games he was dealt to the Fort McMurray Oil Burns of the Alberta Junior Hockey League. However, Matt Grant has made his mind up early that he was not reporting to the Oil Burns. Although many rumors flew around, Matt was never dealt to a junior team here in BC, so he landed with the Cary Park Islanders of the Vancouver Island Junior Hockey League. But is that where Matt belongs? Simple answer, no. Matt will be soon to be land on a junior A team is my thought within the next couple weeks because talent like that does not go unnoticed. Thank you for watching the BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. For any local sports news, keep it right here locked to www.vsbn.ca or follow us on Twitter at BCHL Central. For Nick Bowser, roaming reporter, editor, and camera operator Chris Munz-Micklin and producer Bill Stewart, have yourself a fantastic night. See you all next week.